what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology and today we will discuss on how to give up our chocolate addiction <laughs> chocolates chocolates and chocolates it has taken everybody for a ride welcome back to exotic astrology again if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a personal consultation then please go in the description below to my website Vedic Renaissance and mail me accordingly and before I begin as I always say God is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you give up your addiction to chocolates <laughs> now 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 what is the problem with chocolates well the question is why at all uh, should we give them up yes the answer is very simple because the word chocolates that itself contains the word choco or cocoa <laughs> whatever you want to call it so what happens is when you uh, take that when you take a chocolate any chocolate dairy milk or whatever the millions of chocolates in this planet i will not waste time on describing each of them so what happens when you take the chocolate you also take the cocoa which is inside the cocoa powder then what happens that is actually in the uh, mode of ignorance that is in tamoguna especially lord krishna says in the gita there are three modes of material nature sattva raja tama one two three so what happens is when you eat or when you indulge in things which are in the mode of ignorance that is tamas that is darkness that increases the tamas element inside us <laughs> so then what happens is the traits of tamoguna become very prominent in us what is tamoguna tamoguna is sleeping laziness behaving very dull not having a clarity of mind that because mental clarity is there when uh, you are in sattva guna when you are in the mode of goodness but if you are in tamoguna then the mental clarity is not there you are confused you are like a headless person you don't know where to go what to do when to do that is why people these days you will see they are becoming more and more headless headless means that they are having no uh, clarity in life no goal in life they are just indulging in sense gratification in different sorts of materialistic pleasures they are going on and on around the circle okay <laughs> and the most important reason is tamoguna inhibits your higher inquisitiveness which means that if you indulge too much in tamoguna because we are already in the six hour mode of sleeping six to eight hours everybody sleeps some people also sleep uh, 16 hours i know sometimes some people sleep at a stretch for 16 hours so what happens is when because sleep is nidra is one of the characteristics of tamoguna so if your sleep is disturbed which means if you sleep too much if you sleep more than six hours then uh, tamoguna is much more in you ideally you should not sleep, sleep more than six hours that's what ayurveda says six hours is perfect for sleep but if you're sleeping more than that that means your body is requiring more tamoguna that means it is getting more and more synchronized with the mode of ignorance which is not good and if you are sleeping less than that which means suppose you are sleeping at 3 3 a.m in the morning or 1 a.m in the morning in the night basically that means and you are getting up at six o'clock if you are sleeping less than six hours then that means there is too much uh, there's too much adrenaline in your body because adrenaline doesn't let the body to uh, sleep there's too much tension in your body which means rajas is very prominent <laughs> And therefore you will suffer from diseases like insomnia i know people who do not get sleep till 6 a.m in the morning for no reason not that their husband has died or their wife has died or their father has passed away or they've been fired from job or their children has failed in any exam for no reason everything is fine but somehow i don't get sleep why because the mind is not able to calm calm down itself so there's over processing going on there's hyperactivity going on that means the mode of rajas which is passion is very high in you this tremendous very high passion is coming during sleeping 
and that is why you will see these days a uh, concept of uh, night city life is going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and that is why there are so many divorces which are taking place so many extramarital affairs so many uh, so many people are cheated within relationships now you may say what is the connection between night life and all this yes there is a connection there is so much connected here because when a person is indulging in activities of the night life which is basically what drinking smoking illicit sex eating meat gambling yes so many places in the world are famous for gambling then what happens you lose the sattva in you so gradually slowly you start losing the sattva guna which is in you and when you lose it lose it lose it lose it lose it and you lose it completely and sattva guna is defined by lord krishna as there are different qualities which a brahmin possesses samo damasta pasaucham shantir arjava me vacha gyanam vigyanam astigyam brahma karma swabhavajam so there are different qualities like tolerance humility goodness trustworthiness all the divine 26 virtuous qualities are present in the mode of goodness which is sattva guna but when you are too much in the mode of passion which is hyperactivity i want this i want this especially these four principles which is entitled in the shrimad bhagavatam as pillars of sin because you are destroying yourself if you do all these four one is meat eating the other is gambling another is intoxication and the other is illicit sex so when you are doing all these four you are destroying nobody not a person you are destroying yourself so that is why when you are doing that what happens is your ability for spiritual inquisitiveness goes down yes now spiritual life does not operate on sattva guna spiritual life operates on vishuddha sattva means highest level of goodness spirituality is beyond goodness just being good will not make you spiritual all right we will speak on that topic some other day but what i am trying to say here is if you think that see you can begin your spiritual life from sattva raja or tama you can begin suppose you are uh, starting meditation or suppose you are chanting a mantra suppose om namaha shiva you are starting to chant this or shri ram jay ram jay jay ram then suppose you are sleeping 18 hours a day no problem you can start spirituality does not uh, the tamoguna or rajoguna does not inhibit you from starting spiritual practices it doesn't but to sustain it in the long run you need satoguna which is mode of goodness otherwise you will see people who take resolutions okay from tomorrow i will not eat meat and then after 6 months what happens they fall back to their habits okay from tomorrow i will uh, not uh, watch pornography but then what happens after 2 months they get back again sometimes within 48 hours also i know people <laughs> because they started from tamoguna which is okay there's no problem because you have to start somewhere right but in due course you have to try to elevate yourself to satoguna otherwise uh, you cannot continue your uh, spiritual practices and that's a big problem with uh, rajogun and tamogun and then when you practice sattva guna which is level mode of goodness then you uh, gradually elevate your consciousness and then you become spiritually more elevated yes then you will have a very much clear mindset people will come and tell you the clarity that you have about your life uh, is not found anywhere else in anybody okay because you are a uh, crystal clear of what to do ahead in life you know where to go what to do whom to meet whom not to meet and you will chuck out all the nonsense out from your life therefore coming back to chocolate chocolate has uh, cocoa in that cocoa or choco i don't know <laughs> but that thing which is there is not conducive for your spiritual life for anything actual because that makes you addictive it is like the nicotine which is present i don't know which nicotine or something which is present in uh, that smoking in that cigarette which makes you addictive nicotine right <laughs> and in alcohol also there are so many things present so what happens is when you take chocolate then you are destroying yourself 
now people will say no 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 it's not like that it is not like alcohol it's not addiction no it is also addiction i know so many so many people who will criticize those people who drink alcohol that is okay but the question is uh, you are criticizing them because you say okay people uh, oh this person drinks alcohol now he's bloody addicted or well, the question is uh, you are also addicted to something <laughs> the only thing is your poison is different that's why they say uh, in china that in a chinese uh, group they used to say this that choose your poison <laughs> let that poison be sugar or alcohol or even chocolate also okay so uh, be very careful when you uh, eat chocolate because that will inhibit you from going towards the sattva guna and that will give a strong kick when you eat chocolate because that is that is giving a signal to the brain that yes 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 when you do this you get some pleasure then what happens is you get used to that and next time when you are miserable when you are depressed which you will obviously be because otherwise you will not have been eating chocolate at the first place itself then the body says no no now i need more i need more i need more and then you eat more and then the body says no 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 no, no. now i need even more <laughs> okay so that becomes a cycle actually which is very destructive so that is why uh, we have to take care that we uh, better is we do not eat that uh, at all we give it up completely or else at least try to reduce it but the question is how okay so i will tell you two things one is uh, using spiritual practices that will definitely help you with that because of that you will feel very much happy internally you will not feel the need of uh, eating a chocolate munching on that all the time because that's terrible that will destroy your spiritual progress if you are doing that so uh, and then uh, apart from that is your self determination okay whenever you want to eat just control yourself <laughs> try to control yourself to whatever extent possible and the number 3 the practical thing which i will tell you the third uh, way how you can control is in the beginning days when you are trying to give up something then don't just stop it suddenly that will not happen okay try to find a uh, replacements for that for example uh, there are many people who take different kinds of uh, things which seem to be like chocolate but they are actually not chocolates they, they they don't have cocoa powder in them so for example uh i sometimes take this <laughs> so this is uh, if you can see here i don't know this is available in india or other countries but this is very good so this seems like chocolate and it's written white chocolate raspberry pie oh sorry not pie bar <laughs> so what happens with this is now i am not saying that i am taking this because i am trying to give up chocolate that i gave up long ago but sometimes i eat this big why what happens if suppose you are trying to give up chocolate okay then initial days what happens you need to convince the mind that no 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 i am not completely leaving that i am just leaving that but i am eating something else also okay so then what happens your mind doesn't shout too much your mind doesn't crave too much your mind says okay uh i am not getting cocoa but at least i am getting this or at least that white thing which you have na milky bar that also you can take or some other cookies where you do not have cocoa at least because the problem is there the problem is not in the other stuff the problem is in the cocoa which is there so that is very dangerous so try to find replacements you will definitely find if you search in google and initially start to uh, give up the addiction like that because you you have to uh, trick the mind because if you tell the mind that you will not get chocolate or the mind will start tormenting you it will um, make things hey, go haywire for you so don't do that start with replacements like this quest bar and there are so many other uh, things which you can have where there is no cocoa powder all right That is it from my side. If you like this video then click the thumbs up and if you want a consultation then approach me in my website below. And if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed to it then please subscribe to it. Okay, until next time with another video on how to give up addictions. All right. Wish you good luck with your chocolate addictions. <laughs> bye bye. See you.